everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. This lesson is going to be about if and if else loops or if loops. So let's actually understand what they are. So if if and if else loops I have a very basic meaning. If something happens, as you can see where my cursor is, then the code happens that you insert inside here. And the if else loops um, just mean if something happens, then whatever inside here happens. Otherwise, something else happens. So yeah, let's let's dig deeper into this topic. So let's say I want to make sure this cat move left and right when I click the green flag. So let's set this position of cat to zero, 00. Please check out my previous video where uh, I used the, uh, where I mentioned how to use X's and Y's. But yeah. This is a whole independent lesson. I won't be using that many references. So, so uh, first we want to have this. If green flag is clicked, then and uh, Python. I mean, not Python. Sorry. Uh, Scratch executes all the instructions in me for only like. A millisecond so I need to make sure that everything that I put in here happens forever otherwise if I click the I don't know the right arrow and this cat moves will only move for like I don't know like maybe one pixel or ten pixels so that doesn't sound good so um, now speaking about the code so we'll have if some forever if something happens then this code happens so let's say we have sensing if the k if the key right arrow is pressed then move 10 steps and let's duplicate this that's more easier and if the left arrow uh oh, uh, if the left arrow is clicked, move negative 10 steps. If you want to be more specific about this, then we'll say point in direction 90 for if the right arrow is clicked. So what happens is that the cat will be facing this way and a point in direction negative 90 when the cat's moving left. And also... This is a must. In the beginning of the program, I should say, we want to have point in direction 90 because it would be a bit awkward if this if the this cat is facing left is upside down, sort of. But in the beginning of this program. So now let's check it in action. I'm gonna be pressing the right arrow and look the cat is moving right and what happened oh and also i just remembered that when you point in direction it actually changes the whole thing so if i for example let's just bring this cat back here if I say point in direction 90 and move negative 10 steps, so this cat is going to be moving right as well. So it's sort of like he's moonwalking and he don't want that. So let's just delete the move, um, move negative the thingy, the part. So here we are. And now look, the cat is moving how we want it to. Now, let's talk about if else loops. 
Oh, and uh, I know what you might have been thinking about me throwing all that command, but yeah, that's a bit easy. So, if else loot. If else, like I said in the beginning of the video, mean if something happens, then whatever ins is inside your command happens, and else, um, whatever here happens, like whatever you put here. So, when green flags clicked, uh, let's say the goal of our um of our this this time our goal is to make sure that we put the cursor onto the cap cap yeah cap so like again forever of course forever you can't miss that so if something happens then whatever happens else something happens so let's say that if we don't that if we touch the cap I'm not exactly touch but but if our mouse is touching the or the sprite is touching our mouse, then, uh, touching mouse pointer, then, uh, they'll say, good job, I have done this, uh, but, but here you might have to type, good job. Uh, good job for two seconds. Otherwise, um, it will say, you could have done better. Let's say you could have done better for let's say five seconds. So now what's going to happen is that uh, also we have to make sure that this program waits for a second. So what's going to happen is that Oh, actually, also, I forgot that go to random position. So now what's going to happen is that this cat is going to go to a random position, wait for one second, and if this cursor is touching the cat, then the cat will say, good job, for two seconds. Otherwise, if, it's, if it, the mouse pointer does not touch the Right, then it says you could have done better. Now let's just check it out in action. See, I uh, had waited for seconds. It, I mean, I didn't reach the sprite in time, so it says you could have done a better job. Or, yeah. Now let's actually check if I hover my mouse over this. It says good job. See? Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.